So um, you have one of your fabulous, amazing cakes that you have um, not baked, but put together here. <laughs> right. And um, maybe you could talk about just how you were able to construct these cakes and the materials that you used in them. Sure. The, the reason I went to cakes is because after those large sculptures, those seven large sculptures, I actually w uh, uh, run out of room, which is always a problem for artists, <laughs> storage space. So I said, I want to still do something three-dimensional, but I want it to be smaller. And so I, I had a dream, and the image of cakes came through my dreams. And it's, it's where I get a lot of my information, actually. And um, this is a slice of a cake, which is a circular form. Again, I'm in, I, I do many circles in my life. And this one is called Boudoir Slice. I will turn it around a little. And it's built again with that hardware cloth stuff um, underneath. And then on top of it, I put um, um, plaster gauze. I cover all it up with plaster gauze so there's a, uh, a, a completely um, covered surface. And then on top of that, I use this stuff called Perma Ice. Perma ice is used by professional cake decorators for display and show cakes. And I don't know if you know this, but there's this whole subculture of cake decorating in this country. <laughs> I found out from it the newsletter called Batter Chatter. <laughs> anyway, um, it's used um, to make these cakes. And so I decided to, um, to add some... Uh, some all sorts of beads and jewelry and stuff like that, and have a little um, um, lace and satin and and you know voile and all sorts of stuff. And so, if I didn't say it before, the name of this is boudoir slice. So you can get an idea of these are um, plastic beads that I use long pins about like that to stick down into the 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 um, batter after I painted it with acrylic and I actually see um, that I used seeds um, in the different layers uh, trying to represent something like um, uh, raspberry uh, frosting or, or um, so and then I painted that as well. That's incredibly subtle. So when you use seeds, um, you're using you're using sesame organic seeds. material in yeah, there. So you seeds. have material that actually also could lead to seeds. vermin. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, it's in this. This it's this it's really encased. Good, uh, encased. It's encased. Yeah. And I also co covered it with a lot of um, um, acrylic paint. Uh huh. And yeah. so it's. I don't think any vermin will get it. <laughs> start munching on it. And people ask me, "Do you make regular cakes?" And I say, "No, because it's too much work." <laughs> and then it just gets eaten and disappeared. Yeah. This way it stays. And so, is this rickrack around the bottom? Yes, is that a steel is... to the the um, bottom platform and your your um, your encasement or can the I think that be lifted um what's on the bottom I did let's see it's foil okay. um the cake stores and places to buy batter and tips for your cake decorating uh -huh. have all sorts of uh, cake display things I see as well and that's where I got that because mm. it's red and I use red satin and then red lace and Things like that. So this could actually be cardboard on the bottom. Yes, underneath it's the card cake. this is cardboard. Cardboard. Okay. Yeah, it's cardboard. Okay. All right. So if there were a moisture problem, that would be the first place it might yeah. find its way up. Yeah, it wouldn't. Attack. You wouldn't want to put this anything on, on top of anything wet. Yeah. No. It wouldn't hurt the plexiglass, but it would hurt the cake mm -hmm. uh, platter. Okay. And um, so all of the, the top decoration, all of these pieces are put in with um, pins. Long with pins. long pins. Yeah. So there's no adhesive there, no glues. Uh, the probably I glued them as well. I probably, I, I, I especially would have glued these little red ones around the top edge like that. Uh -huh. 
And when you worked on the series of cakes, because I know you made others, mm -hmm. um, did you always use the same paints or did you um, use different materials on, on the surface of them? I used acrylic. Acrylic paint. And the thing about acrylic paint is it, it would mix into the um, perma ice. And so when I extruded it um, and did the cake decorating, that you don't see in this piece but, piece, but there's a lot of other cakes that have a lot of decorating, it, it became part of the, the um, perma ice. So it was like frosting, like uh, uh -huh. green or red or blue or yellow frosting. So with that piping on the other pieces, the piping actually is a mixture of the paint the pigment yeah. color, pigmentation comes from paint mixed yeah. in yeah. with the actual materials that yeah. you've used right. that for, right. the, for the body as a medium, so to speak. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, but but here you haven't mixed the, the pigment, the paint in with... The, with I your, have on the, top, on the, the top, all that red frosting that's sticking up. It's very tactile, so you can make it stand up by taking a spatula and pulling it up. Uh -huh. to make it stand up so it's not just boringly, boringly flat. And so um, that, that is, that was mixed with acrylic paint as well. Great. And the string of beads along the base, there's so many different um, elements here. Yeah. Are, are those uh, glued on or are yeah, those, those also are glued? Those are glued. Yeah, those are all glued. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it was fun. It, you know, I, I worked about cakes two-dimensionally and three-dimensionally for about three, three and a half years. And it was just really fun. I was just having a blast. I, I, I don't know how many cakes I made, but uh, there were a few. <laughs> Fantastic.